Want to play FIFA for some cash? Check out Gamersaloon.com to start winning some money today. The link is in the description and download their free mobile app. What's up guys, it is Welsh here and welcome back to another What for Career Mode. If you did miss the last episode, we did have a transfer special, which we're going to recap now. But before I go ahead, make sure you hit that like button, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I have a comment question of the day for you guys, and I want to know who is the best player in your career mode. So who is an absolute belter of a player so I can steal them and use them in my career mode? Let me know below. But anyway, let's have a little bit of a transfer recap. Okay, so all the transfer for this season. One of the biggest signings we did make on transfer deadline day was Delhi Ali coming in at 75 rated. Bellerin came in at 76, also joined the side. This guy was heavily requested in the comments in one of the previous videos, so Redler has joined. We got a free agent in for absolute nothing, so we could sell him on. He's only 19 years old, so possibly a player we loan out. Player I personally wanted to bring in as well, Martin Olsen from Norwich City, 76 rated, won't grow very much, but he's a very good player. Lebanon, 77 rated, only like 19 years old, paid 9 million for him, but he has joined the club for Marseille. Cornetto, or Cornet from Leon, a striker, 19 years old, who we're going to be loaning out, so one for the future, but another striker that we did end up bringing in was Dos Santos from LA Galaxy, our most expensive sign in this season, with 12 million as his price tag. Is he going to do well and can he beat uh, Morgan to that top spot? So before we jump into our next game, I want to show you the league table. And we have won three games, drawn one total of 10 points. Absolutely brilliant. Good start to the season. And let's see who we're playing in this episode. Okay, so we got a jam-packed month. We got Swansea City, we have Genk in the Europa League, and then Manchester United. Are we going to leave with enough points? Are we going to leave with nine points out of the total nine available? And of course, have we got enough depth to do these tournaments? Anyway, let's get into the game against Swansea City. Here we go, through ball now, Thomas Morgan to Fisher. Fisher's the first play at the turn, 80 rated. Oh, look at this. Screws in the court. Oh, did it shoot? Williams, and he's onside. Daddy Addy coming in with an header, but just misses it. Here we are now, Fisher, the player I just mentioned who's just turned 80 rated, crosses that in, and Williams stays on point, onside. It's 1 0. Here we go now, just Neves. What can we do with it? I think that's all T Morgan over there. That, yeah, it is. It's T Morgan. This could be like more backhands, pets, and goal. Whoa, it's into the side netted. Very good from T Morgan. So we have made a double substitution. Fisher, recently turned 80 rated, is going off for Theo. But we are actually going to bring on Dos Santos for Morgan. So, wonder how well that will go for us. Neves is now on it. Dos Santos again. Dos Santos is on it. What can he do with it? He cuts on inside. Dos Santos, can he score two and two? No, he can't, but it's cleared. 90th minute in. And the final whistle does end up blowing with that chance from Dos Santos to get two goals in two chances. Is it the opportunity for him to start? I don't think it is just yet. Maybe at the end of this episode. But anyway, guys, let's jump into a training session. So like I've been mentioning, we are kind of doing the same training session, the same players at the moment. I have mentioned several times now that Fisher did push that 80 rated, but what a great all-round performance for all the players. I think only Fisher got a C, but Riddler went up near enough half a rating. The standing tackling is almost 80, and, more, and Bernard is almost 80 rated too, so looking good for us. Let's edit our side and see what we can do for this uh, game in the Europa League. Our first match. So this is our side. Not much changes other than Bernard and Dos Santos. Fisher and Williams. I was tempted to change, but we're going to leave Fisher on. And possibly bring Theo on at half side. Pass one. Oh, here we go. Get a bit of it. Oh, oh skills! Dos Santos! Oh, he comes in. I don't know what happened there. Oh, here we go. Williams here with the chance. Into Dos Santos. Dos Santos now. He's on it. What can he do with it? He's through on goal. Can he get a goal in the turn? Europa League? He does. He makes it 1 0. He scores his second goal in his third game. Here we go now. Williams won it. Dos Santos. Dos Santos finds the space. He's gone through. Look at that simple. Keeper was a bit dodgy. But anyway, it's 1 0. Can we get rid of it? Oh, cleared. Oh, my God. He scored a 13 yard header. It's 1 1. 79 minutes in. I actually can't believe this has just gone in. Rico came out for some reason. The ball comes in and Rico is caught mile 
Devils off his line on the six yard Danny block. Danny Ali, a first mistake he really made. Oh, that's a red card. It is a red card. This could be a sending off for Williams. It is a second yellow card. It was a little bit of a mistake, and he has gone off with a rash challenge in the 90th minute. Williams sent off. So we end up drawing that game 1 1. Rico conceding his first goal in Europa League, and I think his first goal in the actual campaign so far. Giovanni Dos Santos getting a goal, though, which is still nice to see. Okay, so we've now made two team sheets. One is for the league, and one is for uh, Champions League football. So, or any other league. So, non-league games. So, that's what we got. we got league and non-league games. So, for league, we've got Fisher, Morgan, and Williams up front. But now, Deli Ali and Lemonia in the middle. And also, we've got Olsen. Rugger, Ayan, Be Bellerin and Rico making up the defensive part for our league. Very default uh, formation, um, but it's also the default team that we've been using recently. But for non-league games, this is how we're doing it. We've got Theo Dos Santos and Burgress, who is another player that we haven't been using lately, but we're going to check him up there on the wing. Uh, Cook, Neves and Williams, we've used these three before, which and they are completely solid. And our defence has not really changed. So we got Halobas and Samido coming in, but Redler, Ayan and Rico are default players. I was tempted to actually drop Redler and put uh, Bellarac in, and also Bitros was actually a pretty decent player. So we could easily drop these out and change it in anyway. So I'm actually going to do that now. I'm going to save it. And that is our lineup. So the only change that hasn't happened there now is actually Rico. So he's a quality keeper. He's just not growing at the moment. Anyway, next we do have Manchester United. Let's jump into the league game. Oh, can we get rid of the ball? Fisher's there. Just caught off on the wrong side of the one attacker. Hey, what, what on earth is going on? Great hands from Rico. Oh, no. No, what happened there? What happened there? What on earth just happened there? I literally went to throw it out and the ball was on the floor and in the back of the net. Ball gets cleared. Oh, it's 2 0. Wayne Rooney caught straight after those substitutions that we just made. Rooney makes it 2 0. Oh my god, we're being obliterated at the moment. Completely caught off guard. I don't understand what's going on the wrong with the side. Oh my god, it's 3 0. Rico is having an absolute awful game. Here we go. Here's Theo. Theo, can he make it? 3-1. He does. Here we go. 78 minutes gone. 3-1. Let's get into this. Let's go. There it is, guys. The final whistle did blow. And we lost 3-1. And the goals we conceded were honestly awful. Awful defending. Spurs are the only team which have... So, we, after that, lose that game. We lose our top spot. Spurs end up taking that over and the only team which hasn't lost yet in the league. Only one point behind though. I just can't believe how bad that game went against Manchester United. But hey, we got Man City next. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves. But anyway guys, that is the end of this episode. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing. Link is down there. Of course, if you want to official Welsh on the FC t-shirt. I haven't got one on today. I don't know where it is. But check out my merch line and your comments from the last video. Anyway, make sure you ask my comment question today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.